C2 raise. So very first time Jeff Gross is putting chips in the pot in this Premier League. He's gone for a three bet, uh, but he is uh, going to hear about it. He's re-raised Dan Coleman, who's sitting there with a big hand. He picked a good oh, guy. Dan is. Coleman has been a little bit loose, but this is not great timing. This is not. I mean, you feel like, and Jeff Gross feels like, he probably deserves a little bit of respect right now. And if da if Dan Coleman did have a hand, I've lost right, a lot of. Uh, yeah, well, I ran into Ace with Ace King plenty of times and butchered my stack. So I like this. I've, I've adapted. I believe the right play is, you know, what you are off the market and. Perfect flop for Jeff Gross. Perfect in the. He doesn't know it's perfect, but it is perfect. It's he'll. I mean, I think he might check. If you're, if his opponent is a ace queen, it's only the queen he's worried about, or ace king, you know. Uh oh. Well, this is not really that much. Uh oh. I mean, we know who's winning the hand. I don't think Coleman is going to uh, put much resistance up. Maybe one. He might call this bet, but I don't think he'll call the river. You know. Well, JG hopes his opponent has tens now. 17,000. I mean, if JG had a pocket pair, he probably would have bet most pocket pairs on the flop. Yep. So what's Coleman supposed to think now about his hand? And Dan Coleman with uh, what are called? Maybe that's why I'm not winning a million on on the online. You know, <laughs> that, that felt like a wizardish laydown to me the way he played that. Maybe not.